just got to lab corp and there is no one in here i'm so excited like what the hell because y'all know i have to go to work so um i'm just so excited that there's no one in here it's just me like the place is closed well it's not closed but it opens up at 7 30 but as you can see no one's in there so i am so excited i'm gonna be the first one i'm gonna get in here and get out of here because it's freezing and i'm ready to go to work We have a lab work, right? Huh? You have a lab work? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Just checking some people here. Okay. It doesn't matter how many times I take this shot. These needles scare me every single time. Like, what the hell? All my different little tubes and then that red thing. This little red thing right here where they put the needles at always scare me. And then just the little rest that I put my arm on and the little rubber band that they use to tie around my arm so they can see my vein. The shot really doesn't even hurt. It's just that it's the mental aspect of it that makes you scared to get it, but it doesn't hurt. It's just a little prick. my shots and um i have my dermatologist appointment on tomorrow i hope that these results are in by tomorrow i was out of town because my birthday was on this past sunday and i went to new york to celebrate my birthday so um i wasn't able to get the test done as soon as i usually would so yeah I'm going to talk to you guys later when I get home from work. Um, this is going to be vlog. This is going to be vlog number two. And if you haven't watched vlog number one yet, I highly recommend that you go ahead and watch it. So that you can be all caught up and up to speed on what's going on. So you can be caught up and up to date on what's going on with my Accutane journey. Hey guys, so I just came back from my dermatology or dermatologist. My dermatology appointment, whatever, who cares? Anyway, I just came back from that appointment and um, everything was okay. So she went ahead and wrote me my next prescription. The checkup visits are really, really short. Um, you don't really have anything to talk about. She just wants to check up on you and let you know about your blood work. So the most important part is to make sure that you're not pregnant. So um, I even though some of my blood work hadn't came back yet, it hadn't cleared yet, um, my i'm not pregnant and my liver is great so that's the main things that she's looking for um what else that's all we really talked about it was a really short like 10 minute visit and then she went ahead and wrote me my prescription she kept me on the same dosage because i'm not having any side effects um besides my lips being very very chapped but i'm going to talk to you guys about everything that's been going on with my face and my body and things of that nature all of the side effects that i've been experiencing later on this evening when I get home and I'm going to show you an updated video of my skin without makeup right now 
Um, what I've been doing lately is because I just don't feel like putting on a bunch of makeup if I'm not going anywhere special. I am on my lunch break, break right now. So, um... I did go to work today and I'm about to return to work this afternoon but I've been taking my foundation and I've been rubbing it in my hands and applying it all over my face as if, as if it's a lotion or a BB cream. Hey y'all it's me. Today is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Um, Friday January I think the 8th um, and I forgot to film last night because I'm telling you y'all there are not enough hours in a day it's like i get off work close to five i go home by the time i get home i want to like catch up on my shows fix myself some dinner and i just forgot to um film yesterday so i wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about my experience with accutane so far because i know that's what everyone wants to know about your experience with accutane and how it's working and everything like that me personally let me just give you some background history about myself um let me fix the camera <clears throat> oh yeah and this um video is from my car again because it just seems like that's the only time i have some solid alone peaceful time to sometimes do this again when i get home my life is kind of crazy so yeah when i'm on my uh, my hour lunch break i usually have a lot of time after i'm done eating so anyway um background history about myself i've always been healthy pretty healthy um i've never had any major surgeries i'm not allergic to anything i'm just a generally healthy woman you know um yeah nothing major has ever happened in my life as far as health um let's knock on wood about that so um yeah so that's just me so usually when i take things i don't expect reactions and stuff like that um so as far as the accutane nothing major has happened to me since i started taking it um there was one time where i had a migraine all day long that was really really annoying that is one of the side effects of accutane sometimes you can have them every day thankfully i did not have it um i don't have i haven't had it every day i've had it that one day for the first month and then after that it didn't come back so hopefully um even if it's just once a month that's okay but hopefully it doesn't increase um, because yeah, that was really, really annoying. Um, I remember my dermatologist telling me that my lips were going to become extremely dry as well as my nose. She was not playing. Okay. My lips. Okay. Are so dry. Like I can't even, that's something that happened immediately. Like two days after taking the pills, my lips became dry. Your lips literally feel like Brillo pads. Like I'm not even joking. I'm not even exaggerating that your lips are so dry especially like in the morning when you wake up of course because you could apply something at night but of course it's going to wear off by the morning so when the morning comes your lips are literally like cracking like i can't even explain it like the skin has raised on your lips because they are so dry so when you feel it in the morning you can almost like bite the skin you know if you bite the skin off your lip you can bite the skin off of your lip because it's so crusty and hard in the morning so ridiculous so that's something that i'm getting used to but it is so annoying like to apply some type of lip gloss or lip balm you literally have to apply that every five minutes no exaggeration your lips will dry out so quickly you're gonna be like like yo didn't didn't i just moisturize my lips it's so crazy so that is like the first and most annoying thing about being on accutane is the dry lips because you can't really see it like to the part to a person like if you put on a matte lipstick or something like that another person wouldn't be able to tell that your lips are dry but it's the feeling of it and it's being it's so annoying because you have to moisturize your lips every five minutes so that's one thing um about the dry nose i i have a dry nose but it's not annoying um you don't notice it because it's like your nostrils so i mean yeah if my nose is dry i can't feel it you know that doesn't bother me at all so yeah my nose actually just started getting dry last week so i think that was like i'm like my third weekend so um so yeah that's not something that started automatically or it could have started and i just never paid any mind because it's not very dramatic um what else so yeah she talked about my nose will be getting dry but i didn't really see too much of that um you you might have thoughts of like suicide or depression and i'm good as day i haven't thought about killing myself and i am not depressed by any means so um that's good 
and I feel like oh as far as my face duh um <laughs> um so yeah Ac the Accutane did break me out initially when I started using it so now my face is like clearing back up from the reaction from when I first started taking it so um that was a little annoying I mean with all medicines anybody who has struggled with acne you know that every time you go to the dermatologist and they prescribe you something they always say it's going to get worse before it gets better so I expected that I just think it's just it's just annoying you know when you take something and it breaks you out when you want it to clear up your face so that's um clearing my face up oh my god how could i forget to tell y'all so okay whatever yeah forget the little breakout no one cares about that the most rewarding thing about taking Accutane is my skin like yo i have dry skin that is crazy like to be so oily like to be extremely oily like i literally have to buy um what are those things um black blotching papers blotting papers or whatever i have to blot buy blotting papers and i have to blot my face at least like if i'm going from a 9 a.m work day until i get off at 4 45 i have to blotch my face at least three or four times my face was so oily my skin was so oily my skin is dry now and i mean dry to the point where if I don't literally moisturize my face with Vaseline, like something very thick, and I'm not even joking because I just moisturized my face last night and this morning with Vaseline. If I don't moisturize my face with Vaseline throughout the day, you'll start to see my my makeup like cracking. Like, um, I, I mean, I've never had dry skin before, so I don't know like the proper terminology to use, but you'll start to see my skin and my makeup like crackling around here around my nose i mean around my mouth and then right here on my chin on the bridge of my nose and i think that's sometimes right here around my jawline but i just couldn't believe that i'm like yo at first it, she told me that was going to dry my skin out but at first i didn't realize it this just happened like last week and i've been on it for about three weeks now so um yeah my skin is dry like i can literally go somewhere and be matte like matte like when you think about matte think of my face matte okay matte all day long that is unbelievable in my mind that is unheard of like i've never and yeah those are the only big differences that i noticed i still have to show you guys an updated skin look without the makeup which i will show you later so you see here my face without makeup and i'm just pointing out some of my really big blemishes that kind of stand out but this concludes this vlog and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my accutane journey thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button bye